I'm M and this is M Läser, which is Swedish for M Reads. Today I'm going to be doing my first ever book tag and that tag is the social media book tag. This tag was created by the YouTuber Faulty Devices but I'm going to be doing a altered version and that version was altered by YouTuber Ariel Bissett. Since I love social medias and am very active on the social medias that I use, I thought that was a perfect tag for me to start with. I wasn't tagged by anyone, seeing as I don't know any booktubers yet, but I decided to do this tag anyway. So let's go! So basically what you do in this tag is that you pick different books that corresponds to different social medias. And the first social media that we're going to pick a book for is Twitter! I don't know what I'm doing with my hands. But yeah, so anyway, for Twitter I'm supposed to pick my favorite book that is really short and I decided to cheat a little and actually pick a graphic novel instead of an actual book and the graphic novel I've chosen is Berättelser från Engelsfors This graphic novel was written by Matt Strandberg and Sara Berwak Elfgren and it is illustrated by Kim W. Andersson, Carl Jonsson and Lina Neidestam Neidestam? Lina Neidestam this is a collection of short stories that take place in the same universe as the Ingels Forst trilogy, during the trilogy and before. And the Ingels Forst trilogy is my all-time favorite series that is written by Swedish authors, so naturally I love this. There's nothing I love more about books than getting backstories and bonus content on the characters that I love. So I really enjoyed this graphic novel and the illustrations in this are really pretty. So yeah, this is my pick for Twitter. The second social media is Facebook, and for that I'm supposed to pick a book that everyone pressured me into reading. This one is going to be really easy. It's the, the Harry Potter series by J.K. Rowling. I didn't actually read this back when I was a kid like most people did. I didn't start reading this until the same summer that the last movie came out. So yeah, the last movie was coming out, and I was like, I haven't read Harry Potter. And everyone else was like, oh my god, why haven't you read Harry Potter? Everyone reads Harry Potter. And I was like, yeah, I should probably read Harry Potter. And so I read Harry Potter and I fell in love with this series. I mean, how can you not fall in love with Harry freaking Potter? Am I right? I'm right. Next up is Tumblr, a book you read before it was cool. This is very easy as well. The Fault in Our Stars by John freaking Green. You, you, know, you know about this book. You've heard about this book. I promise you've heard about this book. I actually read it like three months after it came out, so yeah. Pretty hipster to me, yeah. The next social media is MySpace, and for that I have to pick a book that I don't remember whether I liked or didn't like. And I'm gonna go with Every You, Every Me by David Levithan and Jonathan Farmer. I picked this book up because I love David Levithan. He is probably my all-time favorite author, and yeah, I just thought that it would be nice to read some more of his books. But well, it was kind of a weird book, and I don't remember whether I liked it or didn't. I know that I didn't hate it, but I thought it was kind of... Hmm? It was pretty weird, so yeah, I don't remember. Next up is Instagram, a book that was so beautiful you had to Instagram it. For that I'll have to pick Landline by Rainbow Rowell. Unfortunately, it's the only book by Rainbow Rowell that I don't actually own, so I can't show it to you. But yeah, Landline, it is gorgeous. I love the cover of Landline, it's really, really pretty. My phone is cracked, but you can see my Instagram, whoop whoop. Our second to last social media is YouTube. A book that you wish would be turned into a movie. I'm going to pick Attachments by Rainbow Rowell because as I was reading this book, I was picturing it as if it was a movie. This book would be the perfect rom-com movie because it has a lot of humor in it and it has a love story that's really cute but not forced at all and it's just, it's gorgeous. I love it. I love this book. It is also set in the late 90s and a lot of rom-coms were popping up around that time so it would fit in with the other rom-coms as well. So yeah, this should be a movie, a rom-com. Now, give it to me, give it to me. And our last social media today is Goodreads, a book that I recommend to everyone. This is by far the easiest choice. Ready Player One by Ernest Cline. This book is brilliant. It's by far the best book I've read in all of this year and it's probably one of my favorite books of all time because it is so freaking good. The reason I think that everyone should read it is because I feel like it's a book that is easy to get into even if you don't read very much and it has everything that a good book needs to have. It's exciting, it's funny, it has a little bit of romance but it doesn't really take over the story too much. It's fast paced, it's well written and it has really good characters in it that are really well developed and it also sends out some really good moral messages which is always nice in a book. I think it's a book that a lot of different people would enjoy like even if you don't particularly read the same genres you will still like this book you will have that in common with someone else 
So yeah, everyone should pick this book up because it's amazing. It's one of the best books ever. Just, just, just read it. Read it now. Oh yeah, that's it for the social media book tag. I want to tag two of my book nerdy friends. First, I want to tag Johanna from the book blog Booker med Johanna. And second, I want to tag Tova from the book Hokuglam. I think it would be fun if the two of you did this tag. Uh, I'll link both of their book blogs down below so you can check them out. They're really nice. But yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching it. I'll see you in my next one. Bye! Since I love social media... Ah! Oops! The Four Dinner Stars of John freaking Green. Uh, nej, nej, du pratar jag svenska! Fan! I picked this up... This book... Attachments. Again, a book by... A book by...